Hello everyone, welcome back to another book review. Today's book certainly won't cheer you up. It's a book called The Conspiracy Against the Human Race by Thomas Ligotti. This was published back in 2010, I believe, and it's actually a non-fiction book. Ligotti is most well known for, for his horror fiction, but this is a non-fiction book and I would describe it as a philosophy book. It covers the philosophy of pessimism and antinatalism. If you're unfamiliar with antinatalism, it's basically the theory that we should stop reproducing and having babies. And it's the theory that it would have been better off if the human race hadn't have come into existence in the first place. So this is quite a dark book covering some dark topics and Ligotti has some very strong opinions about human existence. Uh, he actually describes existence as being malignantly useless and he compares human beings to puppets. He comes to that conclusion basically because we don't actually have free will. We're, we're controlled by our biology and we don't really have free will. So he describes us as puppets roaming around in a world that's malignantly useless. So he's not really a fan of human life or existence and he puts forward some pretty strong arguments in, in support of this. Um, he, he basically says that to get through life we, we really have to pretend that we're something we're not. To get through life we, we have to push things towards the back of our minds and kind of ignore them. The main thing being that the fact that we're going to die one day. Life is kind of a, a downhill slope and the moment you're born a kind of stopwatch starts ticking away and you're slowly working your way towards death and who can argue with that? It's true really. <laughs> um, he describes consciousness as the parent of all horrors because without consciousness we, we wouldn't be aware of that fact we wouldn't be aware of the fact that we're going to die. So consciousness is to blame. And he actually describes consciousness as nature's blunder or nature's mistake, which I think is interesting. I'm pretty much an atheist and I, 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 I accept that we evolved by accident. And I've always known that consciousness was, was kind of nature's accident, but Ligotti goes one further and, and, and calls it nature's blunder or nature's big mistake because consciousness brings with it the horror of existence, the horror of realising that life is meaningless and we're going to die one day and without consciousness you, you wouldn't have to suffer that fact. Uh, he points out that animals are kind of better off than us because animals haven't got the consciousness to to think about this stuff. A dog doesn't look into the future and think I'm gonna die one day and life is temporary. A dog just eats, sleeps, reproduces and survives. It hasn't got to contemplate its own death and so for that reason uh, we're kind of worse off than animals. We, we, we've kind of we've kind of stepped away from nature. He, he says that human beings are not natural anymore because we've got this this kind of high level of consciousness and we can think about everything and we can comprehend our own deaths and he, he sees that as a very bad thing indeed. So it, it's it's quite a scary read. Um, and in, in, in the eyes of Thomas Ligotti, uh, the ultimate noble goal of, of human beings would be a kind of controlled extinction. He thinks we should all just stop having babies, stop reproducing, 
and just let ourselves go extinct. That would, that would be the noble thing to do because it would end all suffering and the universe would, would <laughs> the universe doesn't need us so we, we should just kind of let ourselves wither away and that would be the end of it you know <laughs> so um, it, it, the, the scary thing about this book is that you can't deny it you can't really prove it to be false when you think about it yeah we, we are we are all destined to die and we're all on a downward slope doesn't matter what you achieve, doesn't matter who you are, there's no escaping it. We are, we are on a one-way course to death. We've, we've got a one-way ticket to the grave and that's what makes this book so powerful. And um, there are a couple of theories in this book as well that, that are worth mentioning that have really stuck with me. The first one is, he, he talks about depression. If somebody's depressed, they usually go to the doctor because they think something's wrong with them and the doctor gives them medicine to kind of fix their problem. But, this, but Ligotti says, no, if we're depressed, it's a sign that our minds are working very well. It, it's, a, it's a sign that our minds are very switched on to the fact that life is a horror show. And if you're depressed, you're kind of getting it right. It's a sign that your mind is healthy. So that's something that stuck with me. Um, and another thing is that, that the whole subconscious mind thing. We've all got subconscious minds and nobody really knows why. But Ligotti puts forward the theory that we've got these subconscious minds to help us kind of brush things under the carpet and push things to the back of our minds i.e. the fact that we're going to die and life is a meaningless horror show. He thinks that we might have subconscious minds to help us deal with that fact and live in a constant state of self-denial, basically. So there are two theories there that, have, that really stuck out for me. Um, I'd, I'd like to read you a quick, quick excerpt from this book just to give you a taste of... of Ligotti's prose and how he views us as a human race. Um, here we are. We are only chance visitants to this jungle of blind mutations. The natural world existed when we did not, and it will continue to exist long after we are gone. The supernatural crept into life only when the door of consciousness was opened in our heads. The moment we stepped through that door, we walked out on nature. Say what we will about it and deny it till we die. We are blighted by our knowing what is too much to know and too secret to tell one another if we are to stride along our streets, work at our jobs and sleep in our beds. It is the knowledge of a race of beings that is only passing through this shoddy cosmos. Very dark stuff indeed. Um, I, I disagree with this book, really. I, I, I agree with a lot of things, but I, I disagree with the fact that, you, that life is impossible to enjoy. I think that even though, even though we, we evolved by accident and consciousness is an accident, I think it's still possible to enjoy our existence. And I, I actually think it's amazing that we, that we exist. I think the fact that we, we exist through this process of evolution, this kind of blind chance, is, is, is a wonderful thing. So you, you don't have to agree with this book and um, I, would, I would recommend that you read it but approach it with extreme caution because it does contain some very dark, dark ideas. Okay, um, So I'll, I'll leave it at that. The Conspiracy Against the Human Race by Thomas Ligotti. It is a good book and you should read it but be very careful with it okay uh, thanks for watching i'll be back in about a week or two with another video in the meantime head over to my site jamesflynn.org for more videos uh, more books and and my artwork as well okay thanks for watching see you again